Hi there, my name is Kevin and here at my channel we learn how to make the web and how to make it look good with weekly tips, tricks, and tutorials. Something I use a lot in my videos and something I get asked about a lot in the comments of those videos is Emmet, which is something that we can use to rate HTML about maybe 10 times faster than normal. It's absolutely wonderful. I mean, I can write this one line of code here and just get all of this. Now in this video, we're gonna start with the absolute basics and I'm going to go into some of the more advanced stuff along the way as well. So if you already know some of the basic commands of Emmet, but you're looking to level up a bit, I've set up some chapters down below so you can skip to the ones that you think would be more interesting for you. So here we are in VS Code and we're ready to get going and it's a blank HTML file. And one of the worst things when you start with a blank HTML file is getting that basic boilerplate every single time. Well, there's an easy way. You do an exclamation point and hit tab and you're good to go. And the interesting thing is here, you'll also see a few highlighted things. And if you hit tab, you can cycle through these. So I don't want to change those first two, but when I hit tab a third time or a second time, one, two, this is our third place, my awesome title here for my awesome website. So nice and easy to get that and set your title within like five keystrokes. Um, you might see other tutorials that show you the same thing with an HTML5 like that. So if you do an HTML5 and hit tab, you'll get the exact same template. So I like just doing an exclamation point, hitting tab, hit tab, tab, my awesome website, and we're ready to rock and roll. Uh, the next thing I'm gonna do is go inside my body here and we can start writing some things and we wanna start with some basic tags. So at the beginning, you often have a header, so you can write header, hit tab, and you have your header. I could go inside my header and do an IMG for my image, hit tab, and it gives me the image with the source and the alt attributes already on there, which is super handy. So I don't have anything set up, but I could go find a logo, let's say, and hit tab again, and then I could put my alt text here. Don't really need alt text on a logo, so I'll remove that, but just to show you how easy that is, and then maybe here you go in with your nav or something and you keep on going from there. So already, like to me, that is such a nice, fast, quick way to work, but it's a little bit limited because so far we're not putting classes on anything. And what if we want classes? Well, that's easy to do as well. So you can come in here and we'll start with my header again, but we can do primary header like that. So with the dot at the beginning, just like you were writing some CSS. So header dot primary header, and then hit tab and it, the class is on there. So to look at that again, that's my header. Then we could also do again, let's say uh, IMG dot logo, hit tab and there we go. Image slash logo dot JPEG, hit tab my alt here and you just keep on going from there. Uh, another quick word on this is if you do want divs, so you could do the same thing with div dot say container, just like that, but you don't actually have to write the whole div out. So you could come in instead of writing the whole div, you could just have a uh, dot container and that will give you the whole thing. So dot container and hit tab. You also don't have to be hitting tab. You can also be pushing enter for this as well. So let's say I came here and I did a dot wrapper. Instead of hitting tab, I'll hit return or enter on my keyboard and it also auto completes it. I'm just very used to hitting tab. So that's why I'm saying it all the time. Uh, that's the key that I push to complete my, my image stuff. Um, on that same note, we can also do uh, IDs. So let's say after our header, we have a section of content section and you want an ID, you can do a hashtag uh, or the pound symbol, whatever you want to call it. And this could be like intro, hit tab. And then inside there, we have my dot container, hit tab. Inside there, you have your H2 section title, hit tab, and you keep going like that. And this is really speeding me up right away. I don't have to do my opening and closing tags. And actually, I've, <laughs> the fact because I don't have to do that, when I do get into editors or when I'm trying to slow myself down and show this as real introductory content, it's actually kind of awkward for me to write them again <laughs> because it's been so long I haven't had to write uh, those types of, you know, the, the using the triangle brackets and all of that. So super nice, it gives you the opening, the closing, it's just so fast already. But we can step it up from here quite a bit. Um, so one way you can step it up is we can move inside of things. So let's start with the header again. So header dot primary header. And then we wanna go inside of that, use the greater than symbol. So it's sort of like pointing inwards, right? So primary header is pointing inwards. So we're moving inside of the primary header. And then in there you have my IMG dot logo. And now if I hit tab, Boom, we get it all just like that. So you can see there's my header, there's my image, and then closing the header right there. So that's kind of nice. And then we could do the same thing here. We could say nav, move inside the nav, have a UL and hit tab. And then we could come inside here and say LI, and then you get your LI and do one for each one. But you don't want to do that, do you? 
course not. You want to get multiple LIs all at the same time. So I could come here and say LI times five and then hit tab. I have five of them. So <laughs> let's look at that again, just in case I went a little fast. It's LI and it's a star. So multiplied by, or you do the star five and hit tab. And just like that, you get five LIs in one shot. And now if you're thinking ahead of the game a little bit, you might be thinking, can I combine some of these together? And of course you can. So we'll start just with these LIs again. So let's say I do LI times five, and then I wanna move inside of those and do a link. So I can do an A and then hit tab. And look at that, we get all of that coming out just like this, super nice, super handy, and super fast. That's awesome. Uh, so the links are already in place and actually a bonus uh, tip on that. So let's do it again, LI times five, A. Once again, if you're using your tab and you already know where you wanna to link to, so index.html could go to my home. And I'm just pushing tab on my keyboard now, tab. And then I want my about us.html, about hit tab, uh, contact.html, hit tab, contact. And you can just keep on going like that without ever having, it just jumps one spot to the next automatically when I hit tab on these. So that is just super wonderful and super useful. And just to step that up and sort of reiterate everything we've looked at, if I start here again, we can do my header dot primary header to give that the class. Inside my primary header, we can have, let's say a container, so dot container. Inside of that container, maybe we want the image, so image.logo to give it a class. But now we've run into a problem. I want to have a sibling of this. I want my image and I want my nav now. Ah, we can do that. We can do that with a plus. So the plus symbol is saying a sibling of. So it's going next to, instead of moving inside of, we're going next to it or after it. So my image.logo will be followed by the nav. Then inside my nav, I want a, a UL. Inside the UL, I wanna have an LI times five. And inside each one of those, we want to have a link. And I push A like that, we hit tab. Wow, so fast, so easy, so wonderful. I love this so much. So let's say we wanna step this up even more and look at how complex we can get with it. Let's do a section down here. And the section will have an ID of intro. Inside of this section right here, we want to have a dot container. Inside the container, we want to have an H2 with a section title class. Um, we hadn't looked at this already, but we can also add multiple classes if you want, just by putting another one. So let's say we call it text accent as well. So H2 dot section title dot text accent. We're just adding multiple classes to the same thing. We're gonna do a plus paragraph, which will have a class of section subtitle. And then after that, we're gonna do a plus because we want another sibling. And now it will be a div. So I don't remember, I don't need to write out div. If it's a div, you can just do a dot. So dot, uh, we'll do a row in this case, dot row. Wow, it's getting complex already, but it's we're getting there. <laughs> inside each one of those, we can have a dot column. And we want three columns in this area. And then inside each one of those, we wanna have an h3 plus say a paragraph times two. I hit tab, look at this. <laughs> Really, really cool and really awesome, right? And then my cursor's already here, so I could put in my title. Here is my section title, hit tab. Here is the next text, hit tab, hit tab. You can see it's going through all of the paragraphs and headings here, and I can be putting in content really nice and easily and quickly. So, oh, so cool, so handy. I love this so much. Now, two more things. Uh, one of them is once you have all your HTML, you need to link to your CSS file. So we're gonna start there. Let's just come all the way up. So if you come in here and you just do link like this and you hit tab, it's already setting it up to be a link to a style sheet. And then it's just you pointing you, your cursor's already here. You can link to your style sheet nice and easily. Or if you wanna save like an extra couple of keystrokes, depending on where your style is, if you do link and then CSS like that with a colon and hit tab, it's already gonna to point toward a style.css file. So if that's what you're calling it and it's located in your route, you can save yourself a couple of keystrokes right there as well. And last but not least, maybe my favorite thing with Emmet is uh, lorem ipsum to put in filler text. So let's say we have my navigation here. I'm not gonna redo the whole thing, but let's say we come to here and we say, uh, just to show you what it is, if I, I can write lorem like this and hit tab and it gives me filler text. And lorem ipsum is just a way of doing, it's Latin, it's made up Latin. It doesn't mean anything, but it looks English or like English characters. Um, so it fills things in it nicely, the word sizing and all of that. And you don't have to come up with it on your own, but with lorem, there's another trick and you can tell it how many words you want. So if I do lorem 10, I get 10 words. If I do lorem two, I get two. If I do lorem 1000, I get a thousand words. <laughs> so a nice easy way to add some filler text. And you can combine this with everything we looked at. 
So if you're doing this and you have your UL, you can do an LI, uh, say times five. Inside each one of those, you have a link. Inside of each link, you have a lorem one tab. And it does add punctuation at the end, which isn't perfect for links, but it's a nice quick way if you just need something really fast as a placeholder. Or maybe even better is setting up when you do your columns like this. Uh, again, I won't do the whole thing again, but say we do our dot call times three. Inside each one of these columns, we have an H2, uh, H3, plus a paragraph times two. And inside each paragraph, we wanna have lorem 15, let's say. And we hit tab, and just like that, all of them are filled up with placeholder text. And then I could just go my subtitle here, hit tab, another subtitle, hit tab, yet another subtitle and I'm rocking and rolling and it's working out perfectly. So there we go, some really cool Emmet functions. And there are more advanced things that you can do with Emmet as well. You can do things like automatic numbering, groupings, adding attributes, and even adding your own text as well. If you would like to know more about these, I've linked to a cheat sheet down in the description that has everything that I've covered in this video, as well as those advanced ones that I just mentioned as well. And with that, a big thank you for watching, an even bigger thank you to my patrons for their support each and every month. And of course, until next time, don't forget to make your corner of the internet just a little bit more Awesome.